What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to optimize BlueStacks for the best performance on PC so you can get even better FPS out of mobile games. In this guide, I'm using Destiny Rising as an example. Obviously, you've probably got BlueStacks player set up. If not, you'll find a link down below. Open it up and click the hamburger button in the top right to get to your settings and customize our BlueStacks instance. Inside of here, we can change, for example, the CPU allocation to give our system more or fewer cores. By default, eight is the highest that this goes, and usually four is the recommended amount. Depending on your actual physical CPU installed in your system, you'll have different options here. Usually leaving it at the highest is the best. Then memory allocation, you can change this through different modes, but by default, it'll use around six gigs. If you right click your taskbar and choose task settings, or you hit control shift and escape to bring up the Windows task manager, under the performance tab over here, followed by memory, you can see how much RAM is installed in your system and how much is available right down here. I have a ludicrous amount, so I can give a ton to this BlueStacks player instance and we don't really need to worry about it. But for the most part, what's recommended is choosing around half of your RAM available in your system. If you've got 16 gigs, choose high. If you've got 24, choose extreme. If you've got eight, choose enhanced. Anything below this could cause issues with different games. By default, for most games, six to eight gigs is preferred. As I have a ton of system RAM available, I can select 12 and forget about it. Then performance mode, there's a few different options here. This changes a couple of settings under the hood, but for the most part, if you've got around eight to 16 gigs of RAM, choosing balanced is the best option if you're gonna be running Discord, using a browser and things like that in the background. If you have more than 16 gigs of RAM, choosing high performance is usually the best here. As far as I can tell, these mostly have to do with RAM usage and things like that, as defined on Blue Stacks' website when you click the question mark over here. However, if you wanna give the game all of your system performance, choosing high performance is the best option. Then frame rate, we can go all the way up to 60, but we can enable high frame rate over here and crank it all the way up to 240, which is great. You can enable VSync if you're getting screen tearing, but I would recommend leaving this off. And finally, we can display our FPS, which I would recommend. If you change anything here, you will need to save changes and restart your device, which is just the BlueStacks emulator. I'm pretty sure the download finished in the background, but you can always leave it to just after. Yep, we're about a third of the way through. Checking out the burger button, followed by settings once more. On the display tab, we can customize our game's resolution, or at least our device's resolution. The recommended is 1080p. For some reason, it's chosen a smaller number for me, but usually the lower you go, the more performance you'll get, especially on super low-end graphics cards. If you've got a really powerful system, choosing 1080 or even 2K is a great option. Choosing 4K might be a little bit demanding and especially not required if you don't have a screen that reaches all the way up to these high numbers. I've only got a 1080p resolution display plugged in, so that's as high as I'll go here. Pixel density, 240p is fine, and the higher you push it, the better your games might look, but the less performance you'll have. You can change your cursor style and change the scaling over here, but for me, that's fine. It'll want us to restart, unfortunately, so we'll do it once more. Heading back to settings once more, graphics, Vulkan is the best option option for most games. Interface Renderer Auto is usually the best. I wouldn't play with that. ATSC Textures Beta. You can click the question mark for more info. In theory, it should give you better performance in certain games like Seven Nights 2 and these ones down here. But for the most part, adaptive scaling at texture compression isn't really something you need to worry about. Scrolling down just a little bit, NVIDIA GPUs above driver version 545 no longer support hardware decoding. So choosing software is your only option for better performance. With that in mind, we'll just leave it at software decoding for now, but you can always try changing this if you wish. Then GPU in use, always make sure preferred dedicated GPU is selected here. Then game settings, we can change certain games to launch full screen by default. Devices, we can change how a device plays sound, uses a microphone and a camera if you wish. Gamepad, we can enable a gamepad here and enable a vibration if you've got one plugged in. Preferences, you can change your language and things like that. By default, BlueStacks does report whatever game you're playing to Discord, so it shows up just under your name. If you don't want that happening, just untick this checkbox here. And if you wish to turn off ads during gameplay, you can do so here as well, if you wish. Down here are a few more options, but I'll skip over them. Save changes, phone, we can customize what model the emulated phone appears as to different games. We can change 
keyboard shortcuts if you wish to use any of these. User data, we can free up space, removing any unused items from BlueStacks, saving us some drive space, and we can back up and restore the entire virtual device if you wish. Then advanced, you can enable ADV or debugging if you know what these are. And finally, about. That's it. At this point, we've now optimized our system for some better performance in game. Now, whenever you're trying to play a game and you're expecting higher frame rates, but you're still stuck at a solid 30 or 120, make sure to check out the in-game graphics options where usually you can raise the FPS cap, change in-game graphics settings, etc., to make things a bit easier on your system so you can get higher FPS, etc. Now, if we pause the game using escape and head down to audio and graphics, graphics over here, we can change the graphics mode in game. I'll choose quality here, which raises all of our in game settings. And most importantly, HD textures should help with making things look a lot better. Frame rate, I'll raise it all the way up to the max of 120. And at this point, tabbing back in, you can see that we're sitting at a solid 120 FPS, which is fantastic. But yeah, that's really that. At this point, blue stacks should be playing a lot better. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. My name is Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao. Thank you.